Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. You walk in this place, you can feel the echo. So many epic moments have unfolded on this field. And today, the Fighting Irish hoping to reawaken that in this big contest. We've got a terrific matchup tonight. Anticipation has been building in this campus all day long. As we'll see a team from the Pac-12, the Oregon State Beavers, taking on the eighth-ranked team, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Notre Dame will kick it off to get us underway. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Oregon State Beavers offense comes on the field first today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the universe. It's his world when he's out there. And it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Caught over the middle, it's Terry. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this. And the quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Dropping back. It's Gold Branson. Let's it go quickly. The junior quarterback fortunate to avoid the turnover there. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Here we go on fourth down. He did not get it. Stop. So Notre Dame's offense out there for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. And he just throws it away. Man, I like this play. I mean, not only is it the right play, throwing it away like that, but given that he had no other option, he just did what he's supposed to do to survive and get ready for this next down. Grab down the middle. It's Evans. Chris, really, that's all you want to see from this offense is the ability to just be efficient. If you can just avoid the mistake, make those first downs, be a great compliment to what you want to do running the football. It's a great chance of putting enough points up on the board to win this game. Here's the second down play. Lasso! Lasso! Here's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Quarterback heading right, trying to create on the move. The pass is intercepted. He's got some room and some blockers here. He's past the 30. Past the 10. And he's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Beavers. Just a tough spot to be as a quarterback. pass on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. Now it's second down here. Here we go. Handoff here from the shotgun. Has the first down still on the move. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Back to pass. It's Leonard. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Breaking free at the 35. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. Number the ball to the 25-yard line. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Offense will keep it on the ground here. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. Well, Kirk, Oregon State has the lead here. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Notre Dame has moved now into the red zone. 
second down. We're going to throw it. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. The Irish offense comes up here on first and goal. But these guys clearly weren't even thinking about a field goal on this one. They know that field goals won't win a game like this. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Fights off a defender. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Can Ball handed to the running back. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. That's a big-time play by this wide receiver from Notre Dame. You think about Notre Dame teams that have been able to get up into the national scene. They've always seem to have a difference maker out on the perimeter, going way back to Tim Brown, who won a Heisman, Rocket, who is dynamic, most recently Chase Claypool. you got to have somebody out on the outside that can make plays to have a chance of winning these big games. That's the two-minute warning now here in the first half. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. You call a quick out on third down. I think that tells you the confidence you have in the quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, we really surprised the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. To throw, it's Leonard. He's moving out of the pocket now. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. That huge play sets up a great opportunity. First and goal just outside the five. It's a quick grab. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Irish. That's taking advantage of a matchup there, Chris, by the quarterback finding his mistake. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Fires it to the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The game moves the ball past the 40, sets up another first and 10. From the shotgun, drops back. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Catch made all the way down inside the 35. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. On first and ten, looking to throw. Makes a quick grab. He'll go down there after picking up a few yards. Not going to be enough for the first. And completion makes it second and short. Looking to set up a screen pass here. He's tackled, but down at the nine-yard line. Defense getting pushed around. First and goal. Great chance now to draw even before halftime. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oregon State. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read. Puts the ball where his man can make a play on it. And they're an extra point away from tying this game up. Defense looking to dial up some pressure here. First down. Looking to throw the ball. 
Fires it to the wide out. And the catch is made off the carom there. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Notre Dame comes to the line quickly. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And that's incomplete. Just eight seconds remaining now. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball's not intercepted. Incomplete with four seconds remaining. Time for just one more play. That ball just seemed to sail on it. You got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. All right, thank you for the update, Kevin. Appreciate it. And the Beavers will kick this away to start the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start the 25. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Quick throw over the middle. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Offense facing a second and ten. He hands it off from the gun. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice solid game. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off, have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop it. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down. Makes it second and medium. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more for this on fourth and short. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. You bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. It's a quarterback keeper. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But 
They've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. of a ride through a very competitive first three quarters if you check out some of the stats here. Notre Dame getting set with a first and ten now. From the shotgun it's a handoff. You know in the era that we live in right now everybody wants to spread the field around try to create space try to create one on one matchups and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage not give up big run plays. Third and short now for the offense for the plus 25. Already in field goal range, but can they convert, keep the drive going? They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And they stop him. I think it's short of the first down. Well, here we are now on fourth down, Chris. And at this point in the game, a field goal gives you the lead. I don't think you roll the dice. I think you kick the field goal, you take the lead, and then you rely on your defense to be able to win this game. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And that is no good. And the game is still tied up. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming down Hilker. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he should. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Now, someone moved just a bit too early, and it cost him five yards. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Here we are, late in a close game. Crucial play coming up, third and long. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. And that's defense that come up with an interception there. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Trying to find room, it's low. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. And the clock has stopped here as we've reached the final two minutes of play. Second down after that previous play. Looking to pass. It's Leonard. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Caught over the middle. It's Mitchell. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to. Escaping the pocket, now moving to his right. And that's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Well, the pass rush does a good job of chasing him out of the pocket. He's trying to buy some time looking downfield, but he better be careful being too patient. He gets hit as he throws his football, and it falls incomplete. Grab down the middle. It's Evans. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Secondary up now, trying to jam these receivers. Notre Dame now operating in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Positive yards at this point in the game are always important, especially now that you're starting to get well within the range of a field goal to take the lead. But if I'm this offensive coordinator and quarterback, I'm thinking about a touchdown here late in the game. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. Defense calls their third and final timeout of the half now. Horst and goal clock winding down. A great chance for this offense to get a go-ahead score. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball and it's a short gain. The coordinator moves to a heavy blitz look here. 
defense clearly setting up to stuff the run here. And they're trying to punch it in here. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Touchdown, Notre Dame, to claim the lead here in the final minute. Chris, I thought we might be headed to over. Look at throwing here to start the drive. And that one is incomplete with just nine seconds on the clock. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called on. To throw, it's Gold Branson. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And it's picked off. That was a risky pass attempt, and he paid the price. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Well, that's college football. You're going to have your highs and lows. They had big expectations today, Kirk. They just fall short, couldn't get it done. Well, Chris, we sat down and talked to them, and you're right. They put a lot into this game. I think they were very confident that they had everything that it took to be able to win this football game. And now they're going to have to put this one behind them, learn from the mistakes, move forward, can still have a great season. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.